Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be starting a new series which I'm pretty pumped for in the new house. And uh, we're going to be calling this Chef's Ketchum because it just makes sense. <coughs> so for today's episode we are starting off with an adult beverage. Please drink responsibly if you're over 21 and if you're under 21 don't touch that stuff it's not good for you. It's not good for you till you turn 21. <laughs> but today's uh, episode is a drink that I came up with. If somebody says they did it before, they are wrong. Hold them accountable and please contact me so I can sue them properly. We are calling this the Straw Spangled Splash. For this drink, you're gonna need a Star Spangled Splash Mountain Dew and a Straw Burrito Buzz Ball. The Buzz Ball does have 15% alcohol, which I was unaware of until after checkout when I was looking at the thing, which is ridiculous. Is this the kids' like four loco well not the kids kids don't drink don't drink if you're under 21 is this the new four loco is that what this is anyway uh that's the drink i'm sure i've already put in the clip of me pouring it which looked amazing i probably added some effects effects to it to make it look good maybe not uh but on this we're gonna be making foods we're gonna be making drinks some like this some for all ages and I'm gonna give them different rating systems depending on the episode just to keep it fresh. So yeah, without further ado, let's give this little bad boy, let's give, let's give, let's give this little bad boy, let's give this little bad boy a test drive. Oh my. <laughs> oh my. That is delightful. I don't think I've ever used that word to describe an alcoholic beverage. Usually the, the word I describe is more like, like, you know, serving up Gary's way. It's not that though. It's pretty good. It tastes better than it smells. It smells like a red four loco, but not the fruit punch one, like the thick apple one that they have. I... It works for a small sip. Let me see if it works for a chug. If not, well, that gives us our answer. I want to get. I want to be as in depth about this as I can be for you people. It's definitely a sipper. It's definitely. That's definitely a sipper. <laughs> Don't do that. That was. Did I ruin it? Nope, that's a sipper. I'll tell you what though, I mean, this is perfect. I really like it. This is really, this is one of those drinks that's good for those things like uh, your kid flunked on that test he's told you he's been studying for all week, uh, my wife left me, or you know, for when like you let the new neighbor borrow your screwdriver and it's been like three months you got a new TV stand, so you go up to him and you're like, Hey, Tom, can I have my screwdriver back? And he's like, What screwdriver, man? I, I don't know what you're talking about. So you're like, The one I lent you three months ago, you know, my good one, I let you have, you know, and you, well, I let you borrow it. And I think you thought I said you could have it, but I didn't really say that. I said you could borrow it. And he's like, I don't know what you're talking about, man. Get off my property. So you take him to small claims court. And, you know, you get in there and you're like, Judge, I need this back. I got a new TV stand. And the judge is like, I don't know TVs, but I'll tell you this is not a court issue. And you're like, he stole my property. And the judge gets all riled up and he's like, you aren't the court. Do you know the court rules? And I'm like, no, I work in a hospital, not a hospital. So I, I had no idea what the rules are to, you know, this type of thing. And he's like, the rules are he can keep it if he says he doesn't have it. And I'm like, what? That doesn't make any sense. Uh, so, yeah. It's one of the drinks that's perfect for that kind of situation. We've all been there. Uh, but, yeah. So, you know what? I'm going to give this one uh, 8 out of 10. You know what? Hold on. Let me... Oh. 8.5 out of 10 screwdrivers. Tom, give it back to me or I will set your house on fire. All right. I uh, hope you enjoyed. Hope you're having a good day. If you're watching early on, have a good rest of your day. I will see you in the next one. And until then, see ya.